Now that you're quite familiar with extrusions, it's time for a small exercise, which you can see on the screen. It's a coat rack, and I want you to draw this along with me. Now you'll find the details for the exercise in your extrusions exercises.pdf on your working files folder. It looks fairly complex at first glance, but actually it's very simple. If we zoom into the top of this, you'll see that we have a single pole with four hangers arranged around the pole. Now the hangers are identical, simply copied around. So you only have to draw one hanger on one pole. And feet are four identical pieces. Again, we draw one and copy them around the pole. So when you break it down, it's actually quite straightforward. Now the details are as such. This is the drawing for the hanger profile. And that's the first item that we're going to draw. And on the right here, we have the profile for the feet. So let's start by drawing this profile and then extruding it into a 3D shape. Now to do that, I'm going to work in a front view because it's easy to draw this thing in a flat front view. So to help things along, I'm going to expand my front view just a little bit, give me a bit more space. And we start to draw. And I'm going to use, of course, Smart Line because I want to join my elements. And I'm starting at the bottom of the profile with that one inch curve at the bottom. So to do that, I need Smart Line to be in arc mode. So I'm going to just data point first, then press the tilde key to switch to arcs. Go this way and enter my one inch dimension. Now I'm still in inch units. So I just press one at the keyboard and data point, And there's my bottom arc. That stops there. Now I need to go back to line. So tilde key again, I'm in lines. I go up three inches, three at the keyboard, data point. So the next thing I need is a half inch radius at the end of this line, which leads into the five inch radius. And to do that, I'm going to make the vertex type rounded and set the rounding radius at a half inch, which is the radius of the curve. And if you look carefully, you'll see my rounding radius right there. So far, so good. But then at tangent to that, I need the five inch radius. So now I'm going to change back to arc, so tilde. I mean arcs again. I'm going to place the center for the radius, which is directly above the line, and that's five inches up, so five at the keyboard. Data point, and drag my arc. Now if you notice, I'll zoom in a little bit. I still have my half inch radius leading into the five inch radius. So pop it into the 90 degree angle, data point. Now I need lines again and tilde, and I need sharp corners. That's my sharp corner. And the last line is three quarter inch long at a 45 degree angle. So I'm already in the dimension box of AccuDraw. So that will be 0.75. I will hit tab and go to the angle and enter 45 and data point and reset. And there I have my profile. So you need to stop and take some time to do this because you might not get it right the first time. And then when you're done, we'll move on to the next, which is to turn this into an extrusion. I'm going to do that in the isometric view. So I'm going to maximize the isometric view. I want to make sure I'm in isometric just to be on the safe side. So here's my isometric view. Click on that. Yep, we're OK. I'm going to zoom down to the bottom end here. And the profile for the hanger is that 7 16 by 1 8 or 11 by 3 inch millimeter block which will be the profile for the extrusion. So I need to draw that first. So I'm going to use my place block tool. I'm going to snap to the corner here. Need to be in top orientation for this. Need to go that direction by 7 16 So zero space, 7 16 You can see why I prefer metric. Down arrow and my 1 8 So zero space, 1 over 8. And there is my block. We need to extrude that. So we go to the extrude by solid along. Follow the prompts and we select the path and the profile. Now I've been moving the profile so it sits square on the point of the path. But there's no particular need to do that here since this is an isolated object. So I'll select the path. I'll select the profile. 
and data point to accept. And there's my profile done. Let's double check it. Let's do a shade and let's do a rotate to see if everything is performing as it should do. Make sure everything's square. And it looks like the proper hanger. Excellent. All right, next thing. Let me draw the five foot long post. Now I'm going to do this the hard way. I'm going to start with a place block. Going to zoom in and draw myself a one and a half inch square rectangle or 35 millimeter square. So that is 1.5, down arrow, 1.5. There's my rectangle. Zoom way out. Now that I'm going to do with a standard solid by extrusion. So click on the corner, drag downwards. I will need to go down by five feet or 60 inches in my case. So I'll type 60 and data point, and we have the pole. Now let's assemble the pole and the hooks. Now I'm going to do this first. I'm going to select that and I'm going to move it. And I'm going to make a temporary movement here, just on the corner there. My path and my profile get left behind, as you would expect. And now I'm going to rotate. Now, the reason why I did that move there was because there's no guarantee that unless I've set the active depth of this view correctly, that both the pole and the hook are in the same place. So I've simply made a temporary attachment. So what I want to do is to now move the hook to the center of the pole here. So again, I'm going to select and move. And I'm going to select this point here halfway along and pick up the midpoint of that line there. And now I want to drop the hook down by half an inch. So again, we'll do a move. And this time I'll simply data point and drag down and enter 0.5 and data point. And there we go. So now my hook is attached to the correct place. Next thing I need is three more copies of this. And I'm going to go back to my tiled views. I'm going to maximize the top view. Let's zoom everything in. So I have the hanger and rod in place on the plan view, and I need to make three copies of this around. So I'm going to use the array tool. So we'll go to array. And I need polar. And four items and a delta of 90 degrees and rotate items. So follow the prompts, identify the element. I'm going to do that right there. There's my element. And accept, reject, and well, I'm going to go to the center so that my array is correct. So to do that, I need to use the center snap. So F11, see the keyboard, and data point on the actual edge of the square. And there's my center. So data point on that. And there I have my four hangers around the pole. Let's just double check that. Go back to the isometric view. Yes, there we are. Let's shade it. Yes, that looks good. Okay. And the last bit is the foot itself. So let's just zoom down here. I'll draw this in isometric. So I need to use smart line again. And I'm going to start at the bottom left corner here. Let's use the front rotation. The length of the leg is 12 inches. So 12 inches. I need to go up by one and a quarter. 1.25. Now I need to come down, and the next height here is three quarter inch. So let's go to there. Let's put the compass there, F11 and O key. Let's go up by three quarters, so 0.75. Gets me my data point, and then come back down to my starting point. There's my profile. I need to extrude that, so we'll extrude with this. It's a half inch extrusion. I'm going to go in that direction, so 0 0.5, data point. There's my leg. So we need four copies of this attached to the pole. Take that back to wireframe. Let's select it. And I'm going to do that move again, just to make sure everything's cool. The bottoms are flush. So that can go there. I'm now going to go to my tile. Going to go to the top view, maximize that. Let's give a bit more room. My view one is isometric. Well, we'll fix that. Need that. There's my top view. Zoom in a little bit. Here's the leg here. Let's select the leg. 
Since we've got the same settings as we had for the hangers, let's repeat the process. That will be the array tool. Everything's in place. Do exactly the same thing. We will select the leg at that location. And again, we'll find the center. So F11, C, and let's click on that. And that should do it. Let's go back to the isometric and check on the legs. Shade it. Lovely. Everything's fine. So there we have our coat hanger made from three separate parts. So please complete that exercise. It's very useful. It does several things for you and it's great practice.